Peace the Haunted. How are you doing, man? Hey, good. Doing very well. How's this tour, the U.S. tour, been for you so far? Man? Well, it's been good. It's been, been one of those where, where you know, I'm seeing a lot of people, a lot of like human beings. I like that. Uh, <laughs> you know, people are really coming out and having a good time. And, oh, it's been a good tour. And we're going to try to make it back here you know, this fall. Oh, yeah, very cool. Now y'all are known as like road warriors. You play tons of shows each year. Is there one certain place that y'all not played yet that you've always wanted to? We want to be more African shows. Like yeah. North Africa. And we want to play more in Russia. Because uh, that place is amazing. And there's in Southern Africa, there's a metal scene. Really? Yes. People don't know about it. Here. Obviously. Go, obviously. But there's a great band called Rust. Also, playing in Istanbul this time around was an eye opener because there's a whole scene in what we would perceive as, you know, that we don't really think about, uh, which is like the Middle East countries. But it's there. We played, you know, we played all of Europe more or less continuously, and, and we've done. A lot of Asia and Australia is great. Australia is the best. South America was, was an amazing thing too. You know, we, we've only done one off shows. You now we're going to, we did this fall, we did a full South American tour. And, so we, and that was incredible. You know, so we're going to come back and Hell yeah. do, do more there. But you know, it's one of those things. This planet is it's round. <laughs> And you know they're metal heads, like an average person. And it gives me hope, you know, because <laughs> metal heads are cool, easygoing people. You know, we may not, you know, be, be, you know, having the same opinion and everything, which is okay, you know, because yeah. we'll, we'll listen and then we'll kind of reshape and then we'll come back with new ideas and stuff. But we'll still, you know, metal heads are kind of what I perceive it as. It seems to be that the people who like metal are pretty open-minded. You know, when it comes to a lot of, a lot of general basic human yeah. you know how, how we perceive things you know and so and that's cool you know because it's all over the fucking world it's awesome now y'all have always been kind of like an underground type band I mean, a lot of people know about you but a lot of people don't but then when they hear about you they're like what the hell they have all these albums out like they have no yeah. idea but with the release of Versus last year and the compilation of this year, it seems like, I know you'll do very well overseas, but it seems like now that Americans are finally grasping onto it and being like, holy shit, this band is amazing. Do you feel that change or do you feel like it's pretty much the same? Well, to us, you know, we we are, I don't know if, if we'll ever, you know, take that step from, from being an underground band. Uh, if we do, That'd be great, because yeah. that, that would mean, you know, the, we, we'd make a little more than, you know, the, the lady who works the cash register, <laughs> the, the store back home, you know, oh, but, yeah. but I mean, it's, it's completely all right the way things are now, you know, it's, it's one of those things where we made our choices very early on, how we wanted to do what we do, so for us, it's always been about kind of holding on to our integrity, yeah. who we are as a band, and what we want to do. And along the way of that, we have kind of made a few business-wise decisions that that has has you know made it take a lot longer than for many many bands, you know. And we've seen it as more important to continuously tour and to tour everywhere, <laughs> you know. And, and no, really, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's like one. That's a choice that we've made, and it's it's. Sometimes it's pissed people off at booking agencies yeah. or, or at, at you know record companies, you know labels where they would they would say, well, we want you in this territory here, and we want you to do that and that and that. You know? so, but that's not that's not the thing, you know. That's not the whole the whole concept. It's to get out and play metal to as much people everywhere as possible, you know, because because we'll, we'll come back, you know. That's that's the deal. You know, we'll we'll come back to the, you know, we'll come back to Atlanta, Georgia. We we. Continuously do, you know, and, and we'll we'll come back to, to fucking, you know, uh, Buenos Aires or, or you know, uh, Sao Paulo or, or uh, Taipei in Taiwan. You know, we yeah. will come back, you know, and we find new places to play continuously, and it makes our 
touring kind of circle every time a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. And it's all, but it, it's cool too, you know, because we're we're slowly, 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 and it's it's one of those things too. I think you know if if we would throw all the people who dig the band and that we're fortunate enough to have as fans together, yeah. I think we'd would turn up as it would. Like we, we, yeah, would be really big bands, you know. Uh, but they're spread out all over the place, you know. So we have like this underground following everywhere, you know. We run, you know, there will be like from from you know 150 to to a thousand people, depending on like, what city it is, you know. But there's always, you know, there's always around like, 150 to to 500 people, no matter where we go, you know. It's awesome. And that's one of those things. But we think it's great. We think yeah. it's a true privilege. Favorite show of all time in your mind? Where you look out and you're just like, holy shit. There's a there's a couple of shows that kind of stick out that have been yeah, there's there's what we played one show in New Jersey back in and this was this this show was so intense. It was the tour we did with, with Shadows Punk and Damage Play. Yeah. And this was like two days before Dime got shot. Yeah. No, we none of us had any idea what was going to happen. No but it was, you know, the mood was great. Everyone was really happy. And that night, that show was over the fucking top. I, you know, it was insane. And it was great. Like really good time. Incredible show. And we played uh, a show in in Finland. The first time we realized that we are huge. <laughs> we did it right. Yeah, well, I we don't we don't know because we we never really thought about it. You know, yeah. we we just continue to play and we play and we play. You know, and then one day we we played and the, the show was packed and we didn't think about it, but it, we were the headliners. You know, because we played with so many yeah, bands. Yeah, you know, yeah. and and, uh, and we like, oh wow, it's full because of us. And that that was that was an eye. You know, it was weird to take in that, yeah. but it was cool. And I've never seen a mosh pit. Like anywhere in the world, that intense. Oh, yeah. There's like 900 drunk Finnish people just <laughs> oh, all over, all over the place, and they were just over the top. And it was like it wasn't violent. It was in, like it was intense. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it. You know, the, one of the things I really love about the Hunt fans are they're not they're, they don't come to show to punch each other in the face. Yeah. They come to fucking rock the fuck out and enjoy themselves. You know, and you know, someone caught me on that. They say, like, well, how, how do you have the balls to say that you're a real heavy metal band? Uh, I do have the balls to say that we are a real heavy metal band. And I continue to say it, you know, because it is not about being a fucking tough guy or punching someone down, you know, being a bigger, bigger asshole in the mosh pit or whatnot, you know. It's about having fun, if you win, you know. It's about getting what's in here out, you know. There's, there's so much fucking violence. There's so much negative shit anyway, you know, uh, and we, that's one of the things that we've always caught from the bands that we love, you know, have a good time. Let's yeah. rock out and have a good time. And that's what we want to spread, and that's what we want to kind of bring <laughs> with us, you know. It's, you know, tough guy bullshit is, I'm sure it has its place, but you know, at a concert, <laughs> <laughs> they show with good friends, you know. And, yeah. You know, uh, there are, there are better ways to get get your 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 anger and, and your frustration and, and your sorrow out, you know, than to fucking punch someone, someone to do it in the face, you know. Definitely. Yeah. Now, if you if you were not in the haunting, what do you think you would be doing right now? Holy shit! <laughs> I know. I, I I do not honestly know. Uh, for me, the band has. It has taught me how to be a civilized person. <laughs> I really. Uh, it has given me respect. It's taught me about respect. It's taught me about love. It's taught me about uh, thinking before I open my fucking mouth. Yeah. Um, that was good. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I I would probably be impressed with that. You know, honestly, that's just the, the sad truth. But I'm I'm really glad that. I found this band when the best fan found me, should I say, you know, because yeah. that's the, the, where the truth is, you know. So I, I owe my life to this band and to the fans, you know, it's truly. Yeah, do you have any last words to all the fans and supporters out there? From the bottom of my heart, fucking thank you. Thank you for inspiration, thank you for just coming out and, and all the letters and, and 
you know, from the stories you people tell us, you know, uh, all the love and all the respect you've given us, thank you. Oh yeah, very nice. Well, thank you very much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys Take once care. again, man. I'm Alan March for SkullsMost.com.